Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm actually very excited for this video because you guys picked some good looks. But, um, I am going to be doing my Instagram followers control what I read for a week. I've already done the polls and stuff. I did it like a week and a half ago because I was like trying to plan. Um, and I just wanted to see what you guys would pick early. So I was like mentally prepared for what I was going to read. Um, and the first book that you guys picked was Little White Lies by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. It was between this one and then The Difference. Here, let me... This, it was between... Oh, So it was between this one and then The Difference by C. Delangelo. Um, which is an independent author that I met at a bookstore. Um, I talked about this book and the author... I've talked about it in a couple videos, but I bought this book during my bookstore vlog that I posted in November. Um, and yeah, so these were your two options. And you guys voted for Little White Lies. I technically was supposed to start this reading vlog like yesterday, but I didn't have time to start filming. Um, but I did read the prologue last night and then I got distracted. So there's that, um, but I'm already hooked. The prologue was very interesting um, and I'm very excited. So this will be the first book of the reading vlog. I'll probably end this this will end on Friday. It is Saturday. This reading vlog will end on Friday because technically I started on Friday. I just didn't film anything. Um, so yeah, I'm actually very excited for this. This is my second Jennifer Lynn Barnes like series that I'm reading. It's a duology. There's this one and then I don't remember what the second one's called, but it's the cover is yellow. That's all I remember. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited for this and I cannot wait to see what this book is all about. I know that it's about a girl that is like forced to be in the debutante ball. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what exactly it's about, but I'm excited to see what this book is about. So yeah. All right. It's the next day. Little update on reading Little White Lies. It's so good. I know I said yesterday like the prologue was really interesting but I never read, any, read anything after that um, on Friday but then yesterday I read like 150 pages and it's really good and I am planning on finishing it today. I don't know I have to read like there's almost 400 pages so I have 250 pages to read today. I don't know if I'll get through the whole thing but that's the goal so that I can start the next book, which I'm very excited about what the next one you guys picked is. Um, so I can start that one on Monday, tomorrow, and then, I don't know. I'm just, I really wanna get through all three books that you guys picked, so I'm trying to pull myself to a schedule and I've already spent three days reading, well, two days reading, three days reading this book, this is day three. So I want to make sure that I'm getting through it so that I can get through the next two books on the list. So yeah, I'm going to edit a video and then I'm going to read for the rest of the day. It's like 2.15. So I'm going to edit that video, get it uploaded, and then, oh, I have to film another video today. Okay, so I'm going to do that, edit both videos, and then I will start reading. So yeah, I'm very, I'm very interested in this book and it's very good and yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say. I feel like you kind of got to go into this book blindly. Um, so yeah, so far it's really good. All right, it's been like two days, but I got busy. Um, but I finished Little White Lies. Um, a couple days ago. I gave it 4.5 stars. It was very good. I loved it. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know when I'm going to read book two, but I know that I definitely am. Um, but I also feel like if you didn't want to, you could honestly not read it because, you know, like, you, I, I don't know, you just, you, you wouldn't have to because of the way that it ended. Um, so yeah, this was very good. Good pick. Everybody that picked this one, good pick. All right. 
then we have the option of A Court of Thorns and, a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass or The Assassin's Blade by Sarah, J's Ma Sarah J. Mass. I don't remember exactly what the percentages are, but I'll put them on the screen somewhere. Um, but Akatar won, and I started this two nights ago. And so yeah, you guys picked Akatar. I'm honestly not surprised. I kind of thought it would be 50-50, but I felt like you guys were going to pick Akatar over the Assassin's Blade because everybody is obsessed with Akatar, and I feel like Throne of Glass is like highly loved but not as much as Akatar. Everybody's obsessed with Akatar. And I'm starting to understand why. Um I think I have like a hundred pages left. I'm on page 295, chapter 34. Um we have indeed been introduced to Resand. Rysand? I think it's Reese. Resand. It's Reese. Whatever. I know it's Reese when it's R Y-H-S, I think is how you spell it. And then you had and, so it's Reese and. I d Listen, I don't know. I'm trying my best, okay? These people got crazy names in here. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to tell you. Because if I tell you anything else about where I'm at in this book, it's going to be a spoiler. Because you don't find things out until you are over halfway into this book. Like, you don't find out what's actually happening until over halfway through this book. Also, I have a theory. I have a theory. I'm not sure if it's a good theory or a valid theory, but it's a theory nonetheless. Also, I spoiled something for myself because I went on Pinterest and there was a fan art, fan art for two characters in this series that I already knew get together, but like, that's all I knew about their relationship. Didn't know how it happened. I knew there was somebody else that came before, like, that one of them was with before and then they were with you know the main like I don't know how to describe this you anybody that's read this book knows exactly what I'm trying to say but anybody that hasn't has no clue what I'm trying to say basically I spoiled something really big for myself that happens later in the series I don't even think it happens in book two I don't know what book it happens in but I know it does not happen in book one, and it most likely does not happen in book two. So, yeah. All I did was go on Pinterest. Like, I didn't even... I didn't even look up spoilers. I didn't even look up Akatar fan art. Well, I did to figure out what the characters that were introduced to right now look like, because I could not figure it out. I was so confused. For whatever reason. Typically, I never have that problem with trying to figure out what the characters look like. But for whatever reason, like, I just could not grasp it. So I looked up fan art to see what they looked like. But I didn't look at any other fan art. And then it just popped up. And it just... <laughs> it hurts my heart to think about. I'd... I've had two scenes with this character in it. And I'm like, why? Why must this be a thing why um so yeah i'm gonna finish this tonight and then tomorrow we'll start the third and final book of this reading vlog i'm actually very excited for that one too i've been excited for all three of these that you guys picked for me um i feel like i was the most excited for akatar and i'm not entirely sure it's living up to how much I've hyped it up but I feel like you have to go later in the series to understand like all of the hype around these books um I'm really hoping so because right now we're sitting at like a four stars we're not it's not we're not I don't know it's it's been so boring and then just it started picking up and it's like I don't know I guess I expected there to be more like stuff going on than just daily everyday life happening um so yeah I don't know I think I was just expecting more from the first book because how much people like hype this series up and I probably should not have because it's the first book in the series and the first book in any series is always pretty slow until the second half so I should have been anticipating this but for whatever reason I was not um, also, look at my fantasy bookmark I got at the independent bookstore. 
that I like logged and stuff. Isn't it so pretty? It's so forth wing coated, even though I've literally never read that book. But there's a dragon and a sword. And I don't know, it gives me fourth wing vibes, even though, again, never read the book. Um, that's all I got right now, and I will update you probably tomorrow with my thoughts on Akatar and then what book I will be starting next. Kind of scared to finish this because of where I ended. Somebody's probably going to die. Hopefully somebody dies, but like I know it's not going to happen because this is a whole series. All right, I finished Akatar last night, and... I gave it 4.5 stars. I really liked it. I really loved the ending. I just feel like it didn't live up completely to the hype for me. Um, I don't know. Maybe I need to read more into the series. Um, but it just, it wasn't, I wasn't obsessed with it like everybody else's. I know everybody's obsessed with the series as like a whole. Um, but obviously this is the first book, so I thought like, the obsession is going to start now um but it has not so i'm hoping when i read a court of mist and fury which i think is the next one some of these book titles like the shatter me series and then this series of the actor series is very difficult for me to and throne of glass it's very difficult for me to remember the order of the books but i think court of mist and fury is next because it's like blue teal one blue you're like green it's it, it's it's teal, okay? Like, you know which one I'm talking about. I think that's the next one. Because then it's pink, and then blue, and then orange. Right? I think I'm right. I'm probably right. I don't know. I have it written down somewhere. Um, but yeah, it just, it was, it wasn't a five-star read for me. It wasn't as amazing as everybody makes every single book in this series seem. It wasn't the best fantasy book that I've ever read. Um, but I'm also having a very hard time reading fantasy right now because of Powerless. Nothing has lived up to Powerless yet, um, fantasy-wise and romance-wise, because Powerless is romantic-y and I don't know. Things just have not been living up to Powerless recently um, in like the fantasy, romantic world. Um, but yeah, no, it's still good. I'm going to continue the series. I like it. I think it's very, like, a very interesting world. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the next two books that I gave you guys as options, and then I will tell you which one you guys would for it, which one I will be starting tonight, probably, because I have a video to film this morning. So, yeah. All right, so... The options were The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, yep, saying that right, and then Dance of Thieves by Mary E. P Mary e. Pearson. Um, if I'm being honest, I think I wanted to read Dance of Thieves more than The Cruel Prince, um, but you guys chose The Cruel Prince, and I'm honestly not mad about it. I'm actually really excited to read The Cruel Prince. I saw a quote from it this morning, and I was like, yeah, I'm excited to read this. So, yeah, I'll be reading The Cruel Prince. This will be the last book that I read in this reading vlog. It's only like 300 and something pages. I don't even know. I'm not going to annotate it, I don't think. I haven't annotated at all this reading vlog, which is kind of weird for me because I always annotate and we're not reading any of that because those are spoilers. Yeah, there's 370 pages. Um... So hopefully I can read this in two days because that is how much time I have before I am finishing this reading vlog. So I need to finish this tomorrow night, which I think I can do. It's only 370 pages. If I read, if I read 185 pages, then we will be on track to finish. I think that's right. I think I did that math right. I really hope I did that math right. Oh my goodness, there's a map. I'm excited to read this. I'm very ready to read this. I've been, I haven't been thinking about this series as much as I've been thinking about starting Akatar and Throne of Glass and the Dance of Thieves duology. But I am ready to see why everybody loves Cardin and Jude. Everybody loves them both. And why everybody hates Slock. I think that's his name. Isn't he in... I thought he was in a... What's that trilogy called? Once Upon a Broken Heart? Is he in that? 
What's the other dude in Once Upon a Broken Heart? It's Jax? And what's the other dude's name? Why am I even talking about Once Upon a Broken Heart? I don't know. I think it's Locke. Right? No, because there's a similar situation. Ooh. Anyways, um, there's a similar situation in Once Upon a Broken Heart, I think, to this book. Ish. I don't know what I'm talking about. To be quite honest with you, I could be so wrong and I wouldn't know it because I don't know what I'm talking about. Is this halfway through? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I need to read 185 pages. Okay. Why am I still talking? Like, I've said everything that I need to say, but there are still words coming out of my mouth. So I'm halfway through The Cruel Prince. I'm on page 194. And it's actually, like, really good. Like, there's not much that's happening, but I'm actually really invested in this story. Um, and I really like the worlds. I don't exactly like all the characters. But, like, I don't like Cardin right now. I sympathize, but... You know, I don't know, I just don't really like the things that he's done so far to Jude and her sister. So, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Because there's not much that's been happening, so there's not much that I'm like, oh my goodness, and this and this and this and this and this, you know? Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say. I'd say it's like a four star right now. It's good. I really like it actually. Um, even though it's kind of like nothing's really happening. It's just like daily life activities. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so invested in the story because it's like, there's literally like nothing happening. Like nothing's happening. Like things are happening, but it's not like big, big events, you know? So I don't really know why I'm so invested in the story, but I do know that I actually really like this um book so yeah that's all i have to say about the cool prints hopefully i will finish it today i only have to read that much i don't even have to like i just have to read that middle section right there that's not bad i can do that in a night yeah that'll be fine so that's all the updates i have right now but this book is very good and i'm thoroughly enjoying myself all right i finished um the Cruel Prince last night, it was good. I give it four stars. I actually really enjoyed this book, even though the first, like, 75%, I would say. Well, the entirety of book one, um, I guess would be a better way to say it. Um, the entirety of book one was kind of, like, slow. Like, it was just, like, something would happen, like, every once in a while, but it wasn't something, like, really big. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I was interested the whole time. Um, I never got bored, like, ever throughout this entire book, um, even though book one was kind of slow, um, and then book two really picked up, and I, I, um, I definitely enjoyed it, and, yeah, I'm definitely getting The Wicked King, like, I'm reading that next month, like, that's how soon we're doing this, um, because this was very good, and I want to see what happens next, especially with that ending, I want to see what happens next. Kind of know what happens a little bit. I know the general basis of what happens, but I don't know the entirety. Also, Cardin is absolutely obsessed with Jude. You can't tell me otherwise. He has a piece of paper in a book that just says her name over and over again. Are you kidding me? No, no, because you can't, you can't, you can't tell me otherwise, which I'm right. So, you know, um, yeah, I think that was just what really was like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cause that happened in the beginning of the book. Like they obviously knew each other for a while, but like they hated each other. They still hate each other. I love enemies to lovers so much. It's amazing. I don't know why, but it is. So yeah, that's all I have to say about The Cruel Prince. It was amazing. If you haven't read this trilogy, I almost said duology, it's a trilogy, please go read it. I've only read the first book and I'm telling you to. So, you know, that has to count for something. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed this video. I got to read um, 
three books that have been very high on my TBR, so I was very excited about that. Um, but make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below um, which book that I read was your favorite, which ones you voted for, um, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload, which is on Mondays. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!